hey what's up we are going to build this 116 scale four wheel drive four wheel steer Toyota Hilux RC truck you can see the steering at the back it's four wheel drive four wheel steer you can drive this RC truck in four different modes rear wheel steer front wheel steer crab mode and finally this mode is used for taking tight turns all right let's start to build guys i'm using wplc 14k kit to build this rc truck there are few extra parts you will need to make it four wheel steer you'll need an extra servo and servo plate and you will need a three channel receiver that has channel mixing functions this ESC so these are some extra parts you will need to make the truck four wheel steer okay let's start the kit comes with this plastic servo plate I bought this metal servo plate separate I will use this metal one at the front to make the truck top heavy chassis the first step is to fix this servo plate to the chassis we are going to screw we'll screw the other side first step is done this will be the front side now we will fix this plastic servo plate at the rear end of the truck one side is done we will do the other side we have fixed both servo plates to the chassis of the truck now we install the gearbox I'm using this MN model 260 DC motor with gearbox the WPL kit comes with 180 DC motor with gearbox I prefer this one Let's screw. We have to use four screws to fix the gearbox to the chassis. One side is done. Let's do the other side. We have installed front servo plate, rear servo plate and the gearbox. Now we will fix this servo to this front servo plate. We need to use four screws to fix this. We have installed the front servo. Now we will install the rear one. We need to use this servo cover to fix this servo to the servo plate. We need to use two screws to fix this servo cover. We have installed both servos, the front one and the rear one. This housing is plastic. Only the gears are metal. Let's put the axle cover. I have sufficiently looped the gears. We have to use four screws to fix this. Front axle is almost done. Nice and smooth. Now we will install these steering parts. Steering. Let's install this to the axle. We need to use four screws.
we have completed the front axle now we will do the rear one we have completed both front and rear axles I did the rear one off camera it's the same process both should have the steering so this one has the steering and this one also has the steering we'll install these suspension links now front suspension links are done we'll do the same for the rear one also suspension links are also done now we will install these suspensions what I found is shock absorbers need to be installed before the servo otherwise you cannot screw there's no place so I will take out the servo and install the suspension first I took out the servo now I'm going to install the suspension we have installed the rear suspensions now we will install the front ones rear is also done now we will fix this axle Let's install servo link now. Done. Let's install the rear one now. Are done. Front is done. Let's put in the rear wheels now. Done. We are almost done assembling the truck. We will now install the electronics and see how it works. For the electronics, I'll be using this 6 channel receiver and this Hobbywing 25 amp ESC. This receiver has channel mixing function, so we can independently control the two servos, front and rear servos. This is waterproof, you can see, and this ESC is also waterproof. Let's fix this switch. I cut the motor wire and the ESC wire so I can connect this motor to this ESC. We'll connect front servo wire to port 1 of the receiver. Rear servo wire to port 3 of the receiver. And this port 2 will be used for this ESC. So this wire coming from the ESC will go to port 2 of the receiver. So this front servo wire to port 1 This wire from ESC to port 2 of the receiver And finally this servo 2 wire or 
rear servo wire it will go to port 3 of the receiver and since this ESC comes with this connector I'll be using this bridge connector for LiPo battery I have connected this 2S LiPo battery let's turn this on you heard two beeps because we connected 2S LiPo the ESC can take 3S LiPo also if you connect 3S LiPo you will hear three beeps let's turn on the transmitter throttle and steering it's working you can drive this truck in other modes also this is rear steer mode this is the front part alright so this is rear steer mode this is front steer mode and this is grab mode and I already showed this mode before so it's working perfect let's see how it performs I will see you outside guys